Hi, I'm Jen from House One, and today I'm showing how I built a storage box to hide my garden hose, complete with a reel inside that winds the hose into the box when not in use. We completed a backyard renovation that left us with a lot of new plants to water. To keep our garden hose close at hand, but out of sight, I'm building a storage box with a hinged lid. Inside, I'm creating a reel from PVC pipe and lumber that will rotate by turning a utility handle that I purchased online. For this project, I'll be using cedar boards because I know they'll hold up well outside and in constant contact with water from the hose. To get started, I first used a miter saw to cut the 1x6 and 2x2 boards to length to create the sides, front, back, and lid of the box. Each wall of the box is made from three stacked boards, each connected to vertical 2x2s at the corners. To first create the sides, place two 2x2s parallel on the work surface. Apply glue to their top edge, and then layer the 1x6 boards on top adjusting the 2x2s to set flush with the ends of the 1x6 boards. Drill pilot holes and then drive screws through the 1x6 boards and into each 2x2. Once complete, add the 1x6 boards to the adjacent face of one assembled side, and then to the other. Attach the final side with glue and screws. To create a hole for the hose to come through the box, drill two holes in the front of the box Mark a line between them, and then finish the cut using a jigsaw. To create the lid, lay the pieces side by side with their smooth side down on the work surface and the thinner board positioned at one end. Apply glue between the edges of the boards and then sandwich them together with clamps. Lay the ripped support boards perpendicular to the lid pieces and then attach them with glue and screws. Connect the lid to the box using three inch hinges attached to the top edge of the box and underside of the lid. To finish the assembly of the box, mark the center of the side walls, and then using a Forstner bit or a hole saw, cut a one and five eighths inch hole in the center of each side wall. If desired, drill a hole in the base of each two by two and thread a foot in at each corner to add some additional height. To assemble the reel that will set inside the box, first drill a hole through the center of the 1x6 sides of the reel. Apply glue to the ends of the remaining 2x2 boards and position them between the sides, sliding the PVC pipe between them as a spacer. Drive screws through the sides and into the 2x2 boards. Now place a cap on the pipe to determine the placement lengthwise in the opening, using a scrap block to act as the thickness of the sidewall. Drive a set screw through the 2x2 and into the wall of the pipe to keep it from spinning. Next, drill a hole near the opposite end of the pipe just inside the sidewall of the reel to fit the elbow attachment. Remove the set screw and the pipe from the assembled reel. To attach a utility handle to the pipe, first pour a hole in the center of the PVC cap so that a bolt can go through the hole in the utility handle and the PVC cap. I applied glue to the connections to make them even stronger and then tightened a locking nut onto the bolt. Next, I dry fit the reel and pipe in the box, placed the cap on the pipe, and drove a set screw through the cap and into the pipe to keep it from spinning. Now I could remove the pipe, tape off the handle, and spray it with paint. Now I can officially install the reel inside the box, slide the PVC pipe through the walls in the box and the reel, and insert a set screw through the 2x2 reel and into the pipe to lock in all the parts. To install the fittings, separate the two parts of the quick connection fitting. Thread one end onto the short hose that will run from the hose box to the spigot. Next, guide the 45 degree connector into the hole in the pipe. From the end of the pipe, thread the remaining side of the quick connection fitting onto the 45 degree connector and then reconnect the two parts of the quick connection fitting. Finally, thread the end of the hose through the hole in the front of the box. Tighten the connection at the end of the hose onto the 45 degree fitting, and then turn the handle to reel the hose into the box. Now you have a tidy storage box to hide away a garden hose when not in use, with a simple twist of a crank. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more easy woodworking projects and tool tutorials, visit the House One channel on thisoldhouse.com. I'm Jen Largis, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.